Hello student, in this video I will illustrate the relationship between angle of deviation, angle of incidence that is I1, emergent angle that is I2 and angle of prism that is A, right? First of all, we will draw the diagram of the prism one by one step by step considering the first incident surface and the emerging surface right so before that we have to have an idea how a prism looks like right in book you have seen that a triangle has been shown right but this is not the prism actually a prism is like this I think you are understanding this is a solid mass right and ray falls on this surface and emerges on this back surface right actually it is not possible to show the diagram on a plane surface that's why uh, only triangle is shown usually right so I think you are understanding here is the diagram of a prism actually how it looks like right now I am going to draw the ray diagram here this is the angle of incidence right ok and this is the normal right so this is the angle of incidence I1 right now at this surface refraction happens and we know when the light of ray passes from a rarer medium to a denser medium this is a glass and this is the air so it bends towards normal this is the normal so it bends like this okay suppose this is PQ right so this is the refraction events happening on this surface in which I1 is the angle of incidence and this is R1 angle of refraction clear and again on this surface when it emerges out of the prism again uh, refraction happens from denser medium to rarer medium ok so first of all I want to draw the normal here ok is the normal right and for this surface this is the angle of incidence which I am writing here R2 okay now when the ray of light from inside the prism emerges out of the prism so it is going from denser medium to rarer medium so it bend, bends away from the normal like this suppose this is QR right this one is the emergent angle or angle of emergence and I am writing here it's I2 okay and this angle is the angle of prism A we say A equal to what uh, we notice that the ray was traveling and following the path of OP and if we extend it forward we would notice that it would follow this path right OP suppose this is point L OPL right but it deviates by this angle it didn't follow this angle because of this prism so it has a deviation here ok this one we say it delta 1 right so it is the first deviation again on the second surface if it follow if it, it would follow the path of PQ which was coming on the inside from the prism so it would follow this path but it uh, have deviated through the path QR so this is the angle of uh, deviation at the second surface right this one okay and this angle can be represented 
if we extend this line backward okay so this angle will be equal to this angle and suppose this is delta 2 okay so this is the first division here delta 1 again second division delta 2 right and this angle the total deviation will be delta right right and a equal to angle of prism i'm not writing everything and delta 1 delta 2 you know here r1 is the refer refer angle of refraction for the first surface and r2 is the angle of incidence for the second surface right and i2 is the angle of emergence or we can say the angle of refraction for the second surface okay don't confuse we are telling it emergent ray why emergent ray because light comes strikes to the prism it enters into the prism and emerges from second surface as the ray qr emerges from the second surface that's why we are calling it emergent angle right now i am going to explain the relationship okay it is very easy i will illustrate you in very simple way this point i name m that means the incident angle o p would follow the path o p m l but it uh, follow the path of q r if we extend this q r backward so we get this complete deviation that means it was following this way and it deviated through this angle so this is the total deviation okay the very uh, big question for doing any detection is that where we will start first right so for this detections i will start first from this triangle i am just drawing it outside so that you can have a geometrical idea right think this this is delta and this is delta 1 and this is delta 2 oh this is l this is m this is p and this is q like okay i think you are understanding this one so this is the triangle this is an exterior angle and this is the opposite interior angle of this triangle okay so first of all i find the relations between delta and delta 1 delta 2 after that i will find the relation between delta 1 and delta 2 in terms of angle of incidence and angle of refraction and angle of emergence emergence right because this will help you i will replace this delta 1 by i1 r1 i2 it will uh, give a relationship between the angle of incidence and emergent angle and angle of prism how i am developing here so first of all i will write that angle here angle l m q equal to sum of the interior angle m p q this one m p q plus angle m q p or p q m right this one or we can say delta equal to delta 1 plus delta 2 right now think this this angle this is i1 right and this is delta 1 and this is r1 so this complete angle equal to this angle therefore delta 1 equal to this total minus this right that means this minus this right we can write delta 1 equal to i1 minus r1 okay similarly in this case delta 2 equal to i2 minus r2 right now we will find the relation suppose this is point a a we will think in the quadrilateral a p n q right in this quadrilateral i am just drawing its outside think like this like okay this is the normal this was the normal right 
if this is the normal so this angle is 90 degree and this angle is 90 degree that means this complete angle is 90 degree and this one is 90 degree right so this angle a plus this angle equal to 180 degree so we can write this angle that means p n q p n q right angle p n q equal to 180 minus 180 minus a that means this angle equal to this this plus this angle equal to 180 so 180 minus a equal to this angle right but we know in triangle p n q angle p n q equal to total angle of a triangle is 180 degree 180 minus r1 plus r2 this one r1 plus r2 because this angle plus this angle plus this angle equal to 180 degree so suppose this is equation number 2 and this is equation number 3 now we compare equation 2 and equation 3 we can equate 180 minus a equal to 180 minus r1 plus r2 right or this 180 180 get cancelled and this minus sign is also get cancelled so a become r1 plus r2 right we can write see here this two statement right this two statement this one and this one delta 1 and delta 2 we can add this one delta 1 plus delta 2 because we know the relationship to relate that complete deviation delta with r1 r2 and r1 r right so we can write here delta 1 plus delta 2 equal to this i1 minus r1 Now this R1 plus R2 can be displaced by angle A and this delta 1 plus delta can be replaced by delta therefore delta equal to I1 plus I2 minus A and this is the sorry delta 2 will be this is the relation between the angle of deviation angle of incidence emergent angle and angle of the prism again I am writing delta equal to I1 plus I2 minus A right in the sum of physics you will find these four parameters and with the help of these four parameters the three will be given and you will be required to find one of them right in next video of the refraction of light I will also discuss few sum Okay friends, if you have liked the video, please subscribe, okay?